Today we're going to be working on a special project for my mother for her birthday. So a little bit something different. <laughs> Today I'm going to be working on a special project for my mother for her birthday and we're going to be doing something a little bit different with bleach painting. Hang on. Howdy, howdy y'all. This is Clara Lawrence and my mama has struck a couple years ago so things that are simple uh, work really good for her for uh, presents and things like that. So her birthday's coming up and it's right around the same time as Mother's Day and she has a thing for butterflies and I know she would get a kick out of this, but I thought I'd try something a little bit different. Um, this is a stencil that I got to test out some theories with alcohol ink and I thought it'd be fun to apply this to uh, bleach painting a bit. So what I've done is I've got the shirt strapped to or around a board. This is uh, a padded board that I use for quilting. You can use cardboard or anything like that, but something that prevents the bleach from going to the other side. And this is a rather large stencil. And I also put the shirt off center a little bit to be a little bit more interesting. So what we're also gonna do, you know, we'll have it kind of, you know, we'll have it go flying into. Yeah, that'll work better, I think. It's a very simple way of doing the bleach painting. And I'm looking forward to this. So let's do this. I'm gonna have this out a little bit. I'm also gonna do a little bit of a splatter afterwards. So if there's any kind of overspray, we're, we're good. And I do have extra bits of plastic that I can lay down to help out with the overspray as well. So let's see what we can do here. Let's. I wonder if we need to get a little bit of tape on that. I think so. Let's see. I haven't done this before in theory. It should work. Since it's for my mama, I hope it will. <laughs> All right. Something just to keep the plastic set. Um... And let me get a couple more pieces. And there goes my plastic. Actually, I might center up the plastic here. Because I'm hoping to do this a couple times on the shirt. And I usually use some type of uh, drop cloth that are on rolls. And it's like a four mil thick drop cloth, so it's thicker than normal. Usually it's such a long roll that I'll have some kind of little bit at the end that I don't need, but I still sit, uh, save them, because you never know. And that's exactly what this is. This was from the scraps that I put to the side. Yeah, this should work out pretty well. All right, one more side and we are set. Now what I've done is I've just put the bleach solution into a spare spray bottle that I have and it's kind of a crafty spray bottle. You know, nothing real fancy. Enough to, to spritz it on. So it's, it'll be sharp in some areas, it'll be softer in others, and that's exactly what I want. All right. Let's see now. Now, I 
it can freely move the plastic around, which separated itself from the tape. All right, plastic, behave. Let's see if we can try this again. I know if I want it to stay permanently, I have to create a different type of, use a different type of plastic and that's, or a different type of tape. And that's fine. But for now, you know, I'm gonna have it go up the sleeve a little bit. Okay, crap, it's not behaving. Let's do that. Yeah, all right. Plastic in there at all? No, all right, so I'll just tap that down. Okay, so this stencil doesn't have any adhesive on the back side of it. It's just simply laying on top, but because bleach is such a strong activating thing, I'm not that worried about it, and I'm not worried about getting a real crisp image. So it's almost the impression of. So I'm going to test my bottle out. Okay, here we go. Get it started up because it didn't have any bleach in the nozzle. All right. So I might use my hands and just kind of push down on some areas, but in other areas, this seems to be holding down pretty good. And I'm just gonna literally spritz on top. Okay. And yes, I'm going to wash my hands really good when I'm done. And I'm gonna go stronger in the middle section. Okay. The next thing I'm gonna do is gently blot off my stencil. To get those beads of bleach off before moving to the next step. I have an iron to the side, and the iron will kind of, I guess, speed up the process of the bleach. So I can see exactly what I've done. All right, you're not gonna behave at all, are you? Okay, let's see what we can do here. <laughs> I'm gonna drop that on the floor. So you can see a little bit of what's going on with the bleach right now. And that is exactly what I wanted. Very pretty, very delicate. She's not into very bright, bold things, but if you do bright, bold things and you do it subtle, she's all over that. And so this would be subtle. All right, let me wrestle this shirt. Yeah, I said wrestle. Put it over here. Actually, what I might do, aha, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have the design going off the bottom of the page, off the bottom of the shirt a little bit. She gets easily confused. I would normally put a design on the back, also have a wrap around. But I don't want to do that today. I also don't want to contaminate the other part of the shirt. So I tucked it under. Let's see, are we in camera? Yes, we are. Yay. All right. Let's see if I can get this thing up and back on the shirt. All right. Aha. That will do. I gotta get these plastic bits to behave. Okay. All right, I'm just 
pull on the back so you can see the stencil. That will work perfectly. So it's kind of still going up in an upward direction. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Okay, here we go. Spritz time. Okay, a little heavier in the middle. All right. Now I'm in a well ventilated area. I've got super high ceilings and super big windows if I need to open them up too. But for right now, the ceilings are doing well for me. I'm not gonna do a lot of bleach paint today, just a little bit. And then what I'll probably do with these stencils is just rinse them with some cold water and they'll be fine and ready for the next adventure. All right. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> Tap this down, let the design come Front alive. Front gate open. And that would be my hubby and my son returning. I thought earlier I did another video, and I thought it was them, and it wasn't. It was my nephew. He came home from work early. All right, I'm gonna pull this up. So I've got another video on doing bleach painting, and make sure you check it out, because if you do decide to do this, um, it's about how to stop the solution from continuing to eat your project. So, t-shirts have a lighter weave to them, and they will keep on eating. So keep that in mind, it is not a good thing to let keep happening. Now the next step, I'm not worried about it going through. So I'll just set it up nice and flat. Okay, I'm back. Mass mayhem with the munchkins, when they got their stuff all out of the vehicles. We had, it's like all hands on deck so we can get that done. And now I can finish quickly because I got to get this thing in peroxide so I can wash it super fast. All right, so I've just got a nice round brush. Let me see if I'm in. That can hold. Let's see if I can show my hand around it so you can see how big it is. I'll hold quite a bit of bleach. And I'm just literally going to just do some splatters in the background. So I'll dip it in and then use my finger just to give it a little bit of a hard surface to tap it against. And I keep going for a while because even though you could see the big dots, what you can't see are the itty bitty, itty bitty baby dots. I don't know why I had to use that voice, but I did. So I'm gonna start off in another area and then move over here where the bigger dots were. Occasionally go over the butterflies too. So what we're going to end up doing is signing them, uh, signing in different places and putting I love you messages on here from the kids and the different members of the family and stuff for mama and she'll she'll like that all right so that is done let me put a lid on this thing real quick put this 
So if you use a brush at all for bleach painting, I advise you at least to dry it off with a paper towel quickly. And then as soon as you're done with your project and you've got it in peroxide, rinse it out really well using the brush and water and stuff. Hey guys. Oh, is that the uh, replacement chair? Yeah. Yay! Alright. Smell bleach. That's because I'm using bleach. Alright. Now I got my little pad out so that I can do ironing on top of that because I don't have any kind of protective ironing pads or anything underneath. So I want to make sure that I don't melt my table because it is a plastic table. And this is just speeding up the uh, bleach process so you can see where the bleach is. Does not mean, ironing does not mean it's gonna stop in its tracks. As I've shown in a whoopsie video, it will keep on eating it. Hey sweetie. I think she's gonna like this. Sorry, I just throw my board down on the table or chair. So, bring you in for a close up. All right, so that's the show right there. I think it's got some nice subtleties. A little bit of little dots dancing around everywhere. And the butterfly coming off the edge of the shirt. I think that works out nice. She likes, remember she likes subtle things, things that are very pretty, very delicate, and definitely loves butterflies. So when she's stuck at home right now with all this COVID stuff going on, so we got to make the best of what we got as far as helping making her smile. All right, just pulled this out of the dryer. And I'm really loving the way this turned out. Very slick. I think Mama will be happy with it. Yeah. All right, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, but definitely hit the bell to get notified next time I put a video up. There you go.